What's up YouTube? What's up YouTube? This is your boy King Tenyx and today we are doing a till and orange look under 10 minutes on Lightroom. Stay tuned. Whoop. Let me be the one to hold you down. Every time you're feeling like you wanna cry, I'll be by your side. Let me be the one to First thing you do is open Lightroom. This is the look that we are going for. And I've already done the adjustments. So but I'll show you how to get a till and orange look. So let me just reset here. As you can see, this is how it was shot. The picture white balance is already is shot. I can just go on flash because I was using a flash. It was an open sky daylight. So yes, let's put it on daylight and just adjust, uh, put a bit of tint on the uh, purple side because I like purple. Just put it on plus 20 and just put the temperature around. Let's just put it around. Yes. Let's just say for 800. Okay, I like it here. So the next thing I do usually is adjust the highlights. Just drop the highlights around uh, 70. I just type minus 70. Minus 70. And then from the highlights, I adjust the shadows. I adjust the shadows maybe around 50. I like the shadows around 50 or more. It depends. Uh, the reason why I adjust the shadow is it's just to expose the shadow side of the image. Let's just put it to 50. The next thing I do, then th that's when I go for the exposure. But yeah, I'm not going to expose too much. I'm just going to go 0 0.03, 0 0.03, which is 30. And then now we go back on the white. This is minus 30. I'm just gonna put random numbers here, but we'll still get the same look. And then the blacks. Now I'm creating my own shadows on the shadow side. So the blacks usually I don't want I don't go crazy on them, I just go around. I like them like this. And then now is clarity. Clarity usually I go on the soft side. I don't like a uh, edgy kind of look. So usually I go below 20, let's just put it around 17. Vibrance, vibrance, I go wall. Uh, just click anywhere between here. You see. This is also another preset on itself. You can just click, click here and then you are done editing. But no, we are getting a till and orange look. And then from here, let's drop the saturation a bit because we're going to have more saturate, uh, saturated look when you go to camera calibration. Yeah, and then now we go down to camera calibration to just get the look. Okay, from here, first thing I start on the blue primary and I go lower, maybe around 30, minus 30, minus 20. Okay, minus 31, even minus 21 is better. And then I just do minus 3, not too much. And then I come back to red primary and then I go around 17, 20. Okay, let's put it on 19. As you can see, this is the teal and orange look, but it will go further than this. And then here, usually I don't like playing around here. When you put it this side, it becomes a bit teal and yellow. This one, teal and red. So I like it. I like the skin tones with a bit of red. And then from camera calibration, we go to, we skip everything here, we come to split toning. Split toning, I usually like the highlights around 200 and then uh, saturation around 12, saturation around 12 and then also, yeah, let's start saturation, let's put it on 12 also and then put this on 20 let's just type 12 12 and then here just type 20 20 as you can see this is the till and orange look and then we come back here to hsl from hsl you just come to hue that's the first place i do and there's there's red already on the image and also orange so i'm not gonna adjust that but i have to decrease the bit of orange i have to come here and uh, come here on luminance and just put it around 40 
because I don't like too much orange on my skin tones and also too much red on the skin tones so we come to yellow and just put minus 100 minus 100 and the aqua on plus 100 you see what's happening here and the blues the blues is just put it on minus 40 you see what happens to the image when I adjust the blues minus 40 okay this is too much like it like you yeah. and then I think we're done just come to the tone curve select here and select here select here and select here and then just adjust here adjust here but everything actually happens on camera calibration you can skip all the, the steps and just come here straight here and just adjust here okay guys we are done as you can see this is our orange and tail look remember always shoot draw never shoot jpeg so if it's jpeg it's gonna give you a more hassle if you're adjusting for the jpeg images everything is gonna be different because there's not enough detail all the detail is already recorded but if it's raw the detail is just separated from the image so thank you guys please subscribe and leave your questions on below on the comments uh, if you want to do another request of a different look but yeah thank you guys and this is my image till an orange for lightroom stay tuned bye let me be the one to hold you down Let me be the one to dry your eyes uh, Look, I've been with different girls But you on another lane Without your makeup on, you still look lovely That's why I treat you like a queen Like no more crying I'm a king, I need my queen